The source of that magnetism was betrayed years ago, more than 150 years ago, by a fellow by the name of Hans Christian Orsted, who was a professor type teaching, I believe he was in a high school classroom. And he was showing the students that there's no relationship between magnetism and electricity. The physics books at that time had electricity as one subject and magnetism as another. And Erstert would show that there's no relationship between the two. And one of the things he would do is he would line up the piece of wire like this and put it over a magnet, pass a current through it, and you really don't see anything happening. There's no interaction. But after class, a student came up and held the wire in this direction, and when a current passed through it, okay, watch this, when a current is passed over the wire like this, Boom. You see that interaction? It turns out there's ears an interaction between a current carrying wire and a magnet. And it turns out, to make a long story short, the source of all magnetism is moving electric charges. And when the charges move through the wire, they set up about the wire a magnetic field. And that magnetic field is in concentric loops around the wire. If I pass this wire through a hole in a piece of paper, and I put a whole lot of little compasses around the, 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 the wire, and no current goes through, all those compasses would point north. But you know what would happen if I put a current through that wire? Bam! All the compasses will line up with the field. And it turns out that field it takes the shape of concentric circles about the wire. The further away you get, the weaker they get, but the direction is all that way. So surrounding every current carrying wire is a magnetic field that takes the direction of concentric circles.